Namaste and welcome to Live, Love, Engage. I am your host, Gloria Grace Rand. And today I am delighted to have a guest with us on the show. <laughs> and I'm dropping my notes here. That's what you heard. You heard a weird noise on, on that. That's what it just was. Um, his name is Kareem Daniel Rice and coming to us, I believe, from Trinidad and Tobago. Is that correct? Yes, yeah, that's correct. Yeah, well, welcome. First off, welcome to the show. Appreciate you being here. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, well, I, I let me share a little bit about, um, about this young man. Um, he is a father of a two. He's an advocate for mental health, and he served as Trinidad and Tobago's Global Peace Ambassador for the Global Peace Challenge 2020, which is actually how we met. Um, this was a program that uh, was sponsored by uh, an NGO called the Peace Abbey. And um, he's also a musician, well, musical entrepreneur, I should say. Um, he's been involved in the music industry for the last seven years. Um, he was formerly known as Split Mind. He's a performer, songwriter, poet, recording artist, um, so just a few things. And not only that, he's also a writer and producer of um, Survival Scholars Stories Over Statistics campaign song, and also contributed to the Global Peace Challenges music event that they held. Um, but he's also got uh, an interesting, well, maybe not interesting, but uh, um, hasn't like, let's shall we say life hasn't always been easy um, for you. You've also had some uh, health struggles. And um, I mean, maybe we'll talk a little bit about that as well today, but you have certainly turned things around. And um, I thought maybe we'd start off with the fact that um, since we did connect through the Global Peace Challenge, why did you decide to be a peace ambassador? What, what, drew, what attracted you to that program? Well, um... Thanks for that um, awesome introduction. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, what attracted me to uh, the Global Peace Challenge 2020 program, um, I think uh, I found myself um, in the right um, online forum and I used my voice at the right time and everything just mar mysteriously just began happening from there. Um, I would have found out about the, the program from Miss Elizabeth Jean Gangyong. Um, she was speaking at a, um, a SDG conference, a, a, youth, a global Youth Connect conference. On the last day of the conference, she would have shared or presented. And she gave a testimony um, about her challenges as a, a person who lives with a mental health disorder. I felt as though she was speaking directly to me because that's a part of my story as well. And I shared, um, and from sharing that, um, she told me to reach out to her and on reaching out to her and talking for a few days um, over Instagram. She introduced me to the project director, Tom Connors, and from there, um, that's where the story began with me becoming on, coming on board on the Global Peace Challenge 2020 project. Mm -hmm. It was really interesting. It was yeah. like, yeah, magical. It was magical. <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a really good program. And, and ostensibly, it was really just to be able to um, bring people together from different cultures, from different countries, and, and to be able to, um, you know, bring more peace into the world and do whatever we can to promote that. And, and certainly, um, as we've seen over the last year or so, it's been you know, really important, um, needed more often than not. And, and I love that, um, that you're a musician too, because I, I think that is one way that people can, you know, help um, create change, I guess, you know, cultivate a positive change in the world is, um, have, has something, has music always been a part of your life? Uh... Um, yes, and no. 
um, when I was a kid, when I was a child, I was attending a music class, not too far from where I live, and um, I ran away from it. <laughs> yeah, I ran away from the music class. Um, I was learning to play a national um, instrument, the steel pan, mm. and um, we play the steel pan with pan sticks, right? Right. And the steel pan is placed on a, a stand. And at the top of the stand, there were, was like a hole um, on the top of the stand that was hoisting up the, the steel pan. And I was playing with my pan stick and it fell into the hole, right? Oh. The hole of the, and it, it got stuck. And I got scared oh. because I had to take the instrument off of the pan stand and flip over the stand in order to get my pan stick out. And that scared me away from music. Oh, okay. at that point and then we have been football and only until when I um when life began to get rough is when I gravitated back to me mm. yeah mm -hmm. and more so writing songs um, yeah yeah well, well tell us a little bit about um what happened because you I guess evidently wound up in a in a hospital and tell us a little bit about that that journey and um and then how you managed to you know kind of turn things around um well I landed in the hospital from I was in rehab I was in rehab and halfway through my rehabilitation um, process or program, I, I um, had a, a psychological breakdown. I had several of those um, before going into rehab and um, they recommended that um, the way I was operating, I was um, placing the other clients at rehab at risk and also myself. Mm -hmm. And they recommended that I be um, awarded at the psychiatric hospital, mm -hmm. um, the St. Anne's Psychiatric Hospital in Trinidad and Tobago. And that was quite an experience. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah it was quite an experience. Mm. So did, did, were you exposed to music there or was it after you, after you got out of hut? Or did, because I was wondering, I'm curious to know if, if music sort of helped you in to be able to recover. Before going into rehab, I was um, going through a marijuana in the psychosis. So before going into rehab, um, I'm a hip hop artist, by the way. Um, mm -hmm. Like KRS One is one of my my um, role models. Um, so I would be influenced by KRS One. I love the fact that he uh, he goes to universities and lectures and and speaks about um, positive stuff uh, um, uh, so the before going into rehab I would have been like freestyling um, and over instrumentals and stuff like that and persons didn't understand they said like I'm going crazy because I'm just freestyling and trying to rhyme and and um, that would have been the 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 game changer for me in my life and really um, coming to understand that hey, maybe that's my talent or that's my gift. And um, upon coming out of rehab, I really began taking the writing to a different level in terms of um, writing on every piece of scrap paper I could get my hands on. I have rhymes all over the place. <laughs> um, I have, um, it came to a point where my hands literally began waking me up <laughs> and like that, that oh. was, yeah. And um, I can't actually read musical notes and like write musical notes, mm -hmm. but like I'm schizophrenic, right? I, that's my condition, that's my disorder. That's a, a challenge that I'll face if I'm, if I don't, um, maintain a certain lifestyle or diet and exercise and my ter therapy mm. and all these things. And like, I think it's a blessing to be able to um, 
have your own personal voice in your head, you know, creating melodies or, or mm-hmm. rhymes or stories and these things. And, and um, yeah, I, I'm not sure if I answered your question there. But <laughs> it was, um, I think so. I think you did. Yeah. Um, tell me what, um, so, so what are you doing today? So what, what are, what are, um, cause now you are actively doing like music or are you creating, so you're writing songs or tell us a little bit about what, what your, what your career looks like right now. I just finished that project. Um, it needs some more polishing. It's for a, a global youth event, a global youth leadership event. Um, I think it's GYC or GIC. It's a collaboration um, um, coordinated by Tower of Power, Ms. Khadija Ali Samul, and some other organizations globally connect with. I don't want to misquote it right now, but that um, I wrote a song. I was working on a leadership song, and they reached out and said maybe asked if I could make a contribution. And I said, well, I'm currently working on something, so um, finished the project. Collaborated with some with an artist from Lavantel, um, Morvan Lavantel, uh, a Rastafarian artist mm-hmm. by the name of Reddy or Aki Makre, and. Yeah, we worked on that project, and that's one of the things musically I've worked on. I did one other song for the year, um, a personal song in terms of expressing my feelings and how last year went for me. Um, musically, right now, I, I found a mentor, um, Craig Smith. Uh, from Washington, D.C. I trained I am living in Washington, D.C. because I, I, I got accepted into the Trinidad and Tobago's student and professional organization for mentorship 2021 cohort. So from now until September, I'll be receiving mentoring regarding music and be putting out a lot more musical works and learning. Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Awesome. Yeah. Well, well, that kind of leads me to my next question is where, um, what, what are sort of your goals that you want to be able to accomplish with music? Have you thought about that? Yes, I have. I have. I have. Um, um, well, the region I'm from, um, based on um, keeping my ear to the ground, I realize that there's a uh, a lot of challenges for artists trying to penetrate the global market. Mm-hmm. And um, I, one of my goals is to be somebody who penetrates the global market. <laughs> uh, I think I'm well on my way to doing that. Uh, uh, today is actually a good day for me. I, I put um, one of the final steps in place to register in my my business officially, my my studio, music studio business officially. Mm. Um, create like my own, I wanna create my own publishing company. Um, I'd say my major goal is to create my own music industry model and wherein mm. any artist who comes to my studio could um, penetrate the global market and network their music or their creation the same way I am currently doing, but on a bigger scale. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Um, <clears throat> what, what advice would you have, you know, knowing now, you know, because going through some of the things that you've gone through, what advice would you have for someone, uh, you know, a young entrepreneur maybe out there who, or, or even just just a, a young person out there who's trying to get started in life and, and maybe not quite sure what they want to do. Do you have any advice for someone like that? Um, I, I'd say there's great value in the intangible. Mm-hmm. And what I mean is um, not because you can't see it physically. Mm-hmm. Um, that doesn't mean it's not attainable. Um, 
so long as you can see it in your mind, in your mm -hmm. mind's eye, um, go for it. They could think about it if possible. And um, if you're following your dreams, you know, how to follow your dreams, you need to plan how you're following your dreams. Mm, very good. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. And and I do believe in like visualizing it and seeing it. I think that is really important to to have in your to have in your mind's eye when you say what it is that you want to um, create in this world, because that's that's how it's going to start happening if you do that. So that's good. What are you most grateful for right now? I'm grateful for what well, everybody says they are grateful for life, right? Mm -hmm. um, I'm grateful for life, yes, but I'm grateful for my will power, um, what are the, the will power that makes me um, pursue um, the reality that I'm creating for myself right now. Mm -hmm. um, and ironically enough, um, you won't often hear um, persons who have the condition that I have coming out and speaking, I'm grateful for being brave enough to do that because um, they, it is said according to research that persons like me um, suffer from delusion and I mentioned the word ironically a uh, couple seconds ago years ago when I was um, hallucinating a lot I would have been hallucinating and seeing um, persons taking out photos of me um, being on stage and all these different types of things. Mm. And now I can say that those delusions, so-called delusions, happened. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and if I had taken um, what persons were telling me seriously, I would have not. Um, had all of those things to be grateful for. So I'm grateful for the life that I have now and the life that I am creating. Yeah. Mm. The past and the present, I'm grateful for it all. Yeah. Mm, that's awesome. Well, that's, that's good. You know, it really is important to focus in on being grateful for where you are right now, um, because that's really all we can focus on you know you can't do anything about the past it's gone and and the future's not here yet so if you can be grateful for where you are right now i think that is very important um is there anything um about maybe that about you that most people don't know about you um i love cooking <laughs> i love cooking and that's really therapeutic. Because I'm vegan, right? Okay. And like if I'm extremely stressed out, there's just something really common about um, separating your meal, chopping up these vegetables, combining them, and ensuring that the flavors are right. Mm -hmm. um, that really calms you, calms you down. Yeah. Uh, and the thing, a lot of people don't know that every, every time I cook, I carry food from my, I carry lunch from my mom. <laughs> yeah, every time I cook, I carry lunch from my mom. Oh, very good. That's nice. Awesome. Well, um, let me ask you if, um, where can we hear your music? Where, or, or you know, and, and some of the, where can someone like learn more about you, even, you know, also about the, the recording a business that you got and how can people learn more about you? Everything is being restructured right now. I have songs on Spotify and that would be on the split mind. Okay. Um, but the message that I was singing before, I'm not, um, it's like looking back at old photos or, um, hearing about old stories about the younger version of you and being disappointed in it, but um, being grateful that you had those memories. So mm -hmm. I'm not I'm not that pleased now um, with some of the lyrical content I had back then. Mm -hmm. Some of it's positive, 
Um, I don't see the violence or anything like that. Um, but you can find my music on Spotify. You can find my music on Apple Play, um, Apple Play Store, Amazon, and um, YouTube. Yeah. Okay. But I will be on the split my It's going to be a different um, name now. Karim Daniel Rice is going to be my, yeah. All right. Awesome. Well, good. Well, I'll make sure that I'll, I'll put some information about that in the show notes so that people mm -hmm. can um, check you out and, and listen to even some of the older things, but um, that's good. So um, <clears throat> is there anything else that, um, anything else that you would like to share with uh, our audience today that we haven't talked about that you feel would be important? Um, well, as we all know that the world is in a state of um, global pan pandemia or it's a pandemic and um, a lot of persons are trapped indoors um, against their will, mm. careful for their life even. And I separated myself from the world a long time ago, a couple of years ago. Mm -hmm. So I chose to isolate myself and I only come out of my home when necessary. Mm -hmm. I if I need to go to the supermarket or the bank or um, go and visit someone, go to a performance or photo shoot, productive uh, movements for the past couple of years. So um, living during these times is, is I'm adapted to that. Um, yeah. yeah my, my condition has me prepared. Um, I'd say um, learn to love your home and create heaven in your home and mm. everything. Look inward, <laughs> inwardly, mm. and get used to your own space. Yeah. Mm. That's what I say. I love that. That's excellent advice. Yeah. Well, awesome. Well, thank you so much for being with us today. Um, I am very impressed with you and I know that you're going to do some, you are doing great things in the world and you will continue to do great things in the world and you're managing, um, you know, managing your life and that's a good thing. So thank you. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, I feel like I, I feel a Zen vibe right now. <laughs> really Zen, yeah. Well, good, awesome. Well, and thank you, everyone who's been who uh, is listening on a your favorite podcast platform, Apple or uh, Spotify. You were there as well, or watching on YouTube. I appreciate you. And um, until next time, as always, I encourage you to go out and live fully love deeply and engage authentically.